In the midst of all the news that's coming out of Japan here, we're still committed to bringing you the latest developments out of the Middle East. And I want you to look at these pictures. These are going to be pictures. This is Bahrain, where we're getting reports of government forces storming the main hospital, beating doctors, firing on protesters. Also today, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton says Bahrain is on the wrong track. CNN correspondent Mohammed Jamdoum has been covering the crackdown there in Bahrain. I, I joins me live, and, and Mohammed, I first just want to ask you about the fact how you were asked to leave the country just a, a short time ago. What happened? Well, Brooke, we're still not sure. Uh, I was informed by the Ministry of Information after a full day of reporting there on the crackdown that was going on um, that I was going to be made to leave. Not the rest of the CNN team. In fact, we have another CNN reporter en route right now. Just me specifically. We kept trying to find out why they would not say. They insisted that I had to go. So I was expelled. I was escorted to the airport by a Ministry of Information official. Hmm. And I actually just landed back in Abu Dhabi about an hour ago. Brooke. So before you left, though, Mohammed, and we're seeing pictures, fire violence. I've read reports that the doctors are hiding in hospital rooms. What did you see while you were there? Well, from our vantage point, which was overlooking the area where Pearl Roundabout was, where the crackdown happened today, uh, we awoke to the sound of gunfire. We saw large plumes of black smoke. We saw tear gas being dispersed uh, to try to disperse crowds of protesters. We saw anti-riot police going through the streets, even shooting tear gas at residential neighborhoods to make sure onlookers would go away. It was a very, very violent scene from where we were looking on it. Now, throughout the day, it got more and more disturbing because we started calling hospitals to try to find out about injuries, about people that were wounded. There were so many accounts coming in from witnesses saying that they were being attacked and the government simply wasn't talking to us. We got a hold of three doctors inside Sulaimania Hospital, the main hospital in Manama. They said that the hospital was being surrounded by security forces, that security forces weren't letting injured in, weren't letting doctors out, that they in fact had stormed the hospital, started beating the staff and the doctors there. They were very concerned about that and what it meant for the larger picture. Now, the government finally issued statements uh, via their state television channel denying all those allegations, saying that those allegations were patently untrue. But we were never able to get at any kind of information ministry official or any other government official to speak to us on camera or on the phone and give us on-the-record comments about what exactly it was that was going on and what crackdown was playing out there.